Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog, man. It's K510 Automotive Group. And today, man, we got another video, man. My goal in this video is to get the E36 finalized to be roadworthy and to be on the road with it now, man. It's a few things I gotta fix before I can just turn it into my daily driver. Um, I had gotten to my accident. I had broke. Let me show you guys. Oh, when I got into my accident, I had broke my little, um, the windshield, uh, the wiper motor switch. That's why I had to buy a new one of these. Yeah, I'm not, I've been avoiding driving this car because my windshield washers weren't uh, working because the switch is broken, so. Uh, let me pop the hood. <clears throat> Let's get started, man. All right, guys, so first thing first, I think I'm gonna do this first. This is probably like the most involving part. I gotta take off that cover off of my steering column. <clears throat> yeah, I gotta take this cover off, add this new switch. Hopefully it's the right one, because I bought it on eBay. No, luckily you can still find parts <laughs> on eBay for these old cars. It's a BMW part. So, um, you know, I don't think I ever had to take this off before. So let me figure out how to take it off without breaking <laughs> my steering column. At least not without breaking this cover. Just have like a little screw. Oh yeah, I felt this like a little screw down here. You guys can see it. All right, let me go. Go grab a flashlight and get to work. All right, guys. So it had this little plastic um screw. This little tab that put it. This little opening up here. Let's see if I can put the light on it. This one in that little opening. I haven't done this before, so it's gonna be a lot of trial and error. So it shouldn't be that hard though. It's an old car. Oh yeah, I got the car running. I ain't drove it, drawn it, drove it in a while. Breathe a little bit. Mm. Bolt up here, so you have to remove. Well, not really bolt. It's probably like the same little clip mecha mechanism that I had at the bottom. What it kind of feels like. And I already snapped that part off. It just it all goes on together. Okay, there you go. It came up. So just that little plastic um, screwdriver. It just fell right there. <laughs> you can see it. Oh, let's see. oh there you go. It's like a little plastic mechanism that it goes into right here. You can see it right there. So let me just get that thing to drop on the floor. All right. And then it just snaps off like that. And they plug into each other like that. I don't think I broke the tab, so we should be good. So. Yeah, this thing should just slide up. In my fact, that's, that's good enough for me. I don't really need to take it all the way up. The switch should be right here. Oh yeah, this is the switch that it broke off from right here. Should be this little thing. And it looks like it's just two tabs that hold together. 
I didn't want to take it to go this whole thing. But like the switch looks like it just comes off right here. It's one tab right here. Let me see. Let's get it to slide up. Probably just use the pick, to be honest. Get the pick in there. This tab up. Let me see, I might need two hands for this. Let's see if I can just wedge this right here for now. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna just slide it up. Dang, oh, there's two of them. Damn, so another one here. Damn, okay. That's gonna be the tricky part. I can get both of them to slide out. Alright, there you go. Okay, so that's how you do it. It's two tabs. I'm gonna try to get it to work. Get it to come out without. I know I probably need to take this whole cover off. But I don't wanna take off this. I don't wanna take the steering. I don't want to take the whole thing apart. I just want to slide this thing out. <laughs> Looks like it really wants me to take it. Take this part out though. The thing is these things are so fixed you can't even adjust them. You know, so. Like I can't, I can't make the steering column go down. Okay, I was able to pull it out. I hope I ain't breaking anything. I didn't break it. I guess I just gotta maneuver it in there some type of way. Well, yeah, that's out. So it's a lot easier now. So look like that just locks in that casing right there. And then I'm gonna find out where the switch is, where the plug is for it. it might be in that wire harness. Uh, that's my ignition switch. Okay, I see I see some wire right there. You know what? Looking at this thing. Look at this thing. So look like the actual plug in or the harness with a plug. Harness plugs in is probably gonna feed in. Look like it might be wrapped all the way down in here. BMW, they don't never make nothing easy, man. Um, oh, I think I see the connector. Yeah, I think it's not going to be as easy as I wanted it to be. Probably going to have to take off this lower cover and then go underneath there. All right, let me continue digging into this, man. I'm going to try to um, I'm gonna remove this cover right here. See if I can get to the harness real quick. Yeah, so this escalated pretty quick. <laughs> so I'm removing all of this, trying to get to that switch. I'm gonna remove this piece here. Yeah, working on BMWs is never just easy, man. It's never just simple. It's always, <laughs> it's always some extra shit, man. But that's how it is in the car world, man. You just gotta learn as you go. All right, guys, that escalated real quick, man. I think I'm, I made it to where all the switches are at. All right, I just gotta find the switch I'm looking for. Okay. okay my switch is where? I think this might be my switch right here. Damn. <laughs> Look, this will change this little ass switch, man. Little turning signal, I mean, a uh, wiper motor switch. The whole harness. 
All right, guys, I think I found it. <laughs> so it looks like it's this harness right here. This one right here. So look. Okay, so I gotta grab it like this. So it's this harness right here, so I need two hands to unplug it, so I'll turn this back on a little bit. <laughs> Alright, so I got it unplugged now. So I'm just gonna plug in a new one. This is my new switch. I'm gonna plug that in now. And then I'm just gonna follow the route to put it back in. Look like it plugs in like that. Oh man, I done knocked it off. <laughs> Damn. Hope I didn't break it. Break the little. Oh, now this lid off. Make sure it's tight. Oh, it's on there. Now let's put this back on. Yeah, leave it to BMW. <laughs> Will not just be an easy swap, you know? I'm probably not gonna go and route it. I should route it the same way I took it off, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The wires right here. <laughs> All right, man, let me put this, let me plug this thing back up and put everything back. I'll show you when I'm done. All right. Now let's see if this works. I put the new switch on. Juice. All right, cool. Wipers are working. All right, so we're getting one step closer to daily driving this thing. Uh, I think I am gonna go back and put all the wires back and zip tie them back just to keep it neat, like the way they had it before from the factory. So I'm gonna take a little time and do that and put all this stuff back, and I'll cut this camera back on. We get to the next project. <laughs> All right, guys. So we got everything back together. So the car is all the way together. So we got our new shifter, couple of wipers. Things plugged in. I didn't want to record putting all that stuff back together because um, it is tedious. But I think that's gonna be it for today, man. Probably gonna pick up the camera probably tomorrow and try to do a little bit more I didn't expect this thing to turn into a whole project but yeah man just stay tuned uh, for the next clips um, I'm gonna try to drop this all in in one video it's probably gonna be a long video but at least it'll be something man I've been trying to stay motivated and um, keep posting frequently um, but you know regular life gets in the way you know jobs and stuff like that so um yeah man I'm gonna pick this camera up tomorrow and um uh we just get we just start putting the rest of the stuff together. My other stuff is pretty pretty um basic, you know, but hey I'm trying to bring this car back to life. Turn it back into a daily. Um yeah, this is actually one of my favorite cars like in the world, man, like one of them, you know. So stay tuned. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the vlog, man. It's K510 Automotive Group. And um, this is probably like a part two to my um, three series um, upgrading. Um, I've been trying to um, get my three series up to par um, as far as drivability wise and daily in it. I um, had a basically get my um the previous clips I had to get my um my washer uh windshield washer switch um replaced it was broken so um 
Yeah, man, today we're gonna um, continue on with that video, man. Um, all right, guys, so now I'm gonna be um, replacing my fender liner. Um, it's just old. And, um, I replaced my right side already, so now gotta. Uh, I'm not sure if this is OEM. OEM um, replacement is exactly OEM, but it fit on the other side, so. So I'm just gonna be swapping this side out. All right, guys. So we got um, the fender liner in, secured, good to go. I did have to use a few uh, self-tapper screws, um, just because it was a little bit bigger than than expected. So I still want to do the same job. It's just I just wanted to fit pretty snug. And, and protect all the electrical stuff that I needed to cover, so. Yeah. 